this is Shannon from the Irishscrapper.com, and today we have a beautiful double Z fold uh, card using one of the new sweets in our mini catalog. Uh, I am using the sweet ice cream stamp set or bundle rather. This coordinates with the punch. Um, this was one of the ones I knew instantly when I saw the catalog that I had to have. Um, so Let's go ahead and jump into today's uh, fun project. This would be good for any age. Um, you can do this in multiple colors. Um, I just love fun folds, so I thought we'd start the new catalog season with one of those. Okay, so let's jump in. Uh, let's talk about all of our pieces here. So I am using a piece of Blackberry Bliss. This is four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna do some scoring. I have a piece of Bermuda Bay that is three and a quarter by nine. We're gonna score that as well. I am using the designer series paper that coordinates with this suite. It is called Ice Cream Corner DSP. And this piece is four by five and a quarter. I have a piece here that is four by two and a half. And then I have another piece that is three by two and three quarters. And then we're going to use two more pieces of Whisper White. Um, as well that are both three by two and three quarters and then of course we'll do some extra stamping um, on another scrap so let me grab my trimmer and let's do our scoring first on the blackberry bliss piece we are going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half okay and then on our Bermuda Bay piece, we are going to score at three and six. Okay. All right, let me actually give you a little peek of the designer series paper because this is such a pretty uh, suite. This is on page 48 and 49 of the catalog. So you can see here, I'm trying to bring all the different pieces. I have a, a small stack here that I've already kind of cut up. Um, so here are a few of them. Here's another. So just a very beautiful, fun, bright pack um, of designer series paper. And of course we always love um, a bundle that coordinates with a punch. Okay, so for our base, we're going to first fold this in half, and I want to um, get a nice burnish on it, and then we're going to fold this one back. That's going to create our first uh, Z fold, okay? And then we're going to take our Bermuda Bay, line this up the same. I want a nice crease. We're going to fold this one back as well. Okay. All right, so now you can kind of already see how this is going to go together. So that's why it's called a double Z. All right, let's get some of our liquid glue. I like using the liquid glue because it gives you some time um, to move your designer series paper to get it nice and lined up. And we want our ice cream cones going the correct direction. That looks good. We're going to take our other piece of designer series paper. Whoops. Get some glue off of there. And then what you can do to make sure you align it properly is just fold that down and then you'll know you're straight. Okay, so that's our first one. Let's take our inside Bermuda Bay. We're going to take our other piece of DSP and that's going to go in the center of this piece. Okay, and then this is where we're going to add some of our stamping and decorate. 
So let's grab our two pieces of Whisper White. Um, the colors of the ink pads that I'm using today are Blackberry Bliss, Cinnamon Cider, Bermuda Bay, and Old Olive. Those are a few of the colors that coordinate um, with this paper. So I'm going to open that Blackberry Bliss first, and I'm going to take the uh, Sentiment Treat Yourself. And I just want to stamp that in the lower corner of one of my pieces. All right, now I'm going to take the Happy Birthday, and so you can see that is one long um, stamp, and I'm going to layer them. So I'm going to just ink up part the Happy, so part of the sentiment here, and we're going to stack those. So let me line this up. And I want to put the happy down. Now you're going to want to make sure you clean your stamp very well in between doing this because you don't want to get any shadows of ink. Now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to just ink up the birthday. And I'm using the Blackberry Bliss. Okay, and now... We can go ahead and layer that. Look at that. Love it. Okay, let me get some of that ink off. All right. Okay, now I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to take some Old Olive and Bermuda Bay and open those up. I'm going to take the little um, dots from this set and we're going to just add a few of them in here. I'm going to go to the old olive and we'll just put some more around there. Okay, so that's our lower piece. Now I'm going to keep this scrap piece out. We're going to move this so I don't get ink on it. Now we're going to take a scrap and we're going to do our um, cones and our ice cream. So I'm going to take my three colors here, the Bermuda Bay Old Olive and the Blackberry. And we are going to take a quick peek at our punch. So um, I'm going to stamp these this way so that it's easy. Um, to punch out. So I'm going to do Bermuda Bay, clean that off, Old Olive, and then our Blackberry. Okay, now I'm going to take those dots again and we're just going to add a some of those to each of our cones our tops rather, our ice cream, just like that. All right, now we can do our cone in the cinnamon cider. So I'm going to close this up. Let's grab our cinnamon cider here, pull that aside. So you can see from the punch it's kind of a little bit on an angle um, the way that lines up. So I'm just going to try to kind of stamp it like that uh, just to kind of help me with and I will probably have to you know tr trim my paper in between but I use this little scrap okay all right so first let me get my scissors oh I did that blackberry a little close to the edge there. Hopefully that works okay. Take my punch, punch that out, just trim that off with my scissors, and go on to the next one. That looks good. Okay, I hope, yeah, that's kind of close. Let me see. See if I can make it work. This one is actually the one that's kind of in the background. 
of my card, so I think I can make it work. All right, so now let's get our cones out. Probably going to have to just trim a little bit in between there to make it work. That looks good. Oh, here is our last one. You, they do have the little crisscross um, pattern in the stamp set. I just chose uh, not to use that on my cones, but you totally can. They show it in the DSP. So let's go ahead and bring back in this layer. And I'm going to use my liquid glue again. And let's line this up. So again, I'm just looking at that other piece. We're going to go ahead and put our top one on. Okay, very good. All right, so let's do our cones. So I think, let's kind of, I like to kind of play with them a little bit. So we can go off of this because our base is a little bit wider, if that makes sense. So that doesn't have to all be um, within. our little white um, piece, but I just want to see how this is going to look. You know what, maybe I want to tuck yeah, that one like that a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Um, where's my other adhesive? Hold on. There it is in front of me. Okay. So I think I'm going to put that one, now I'm just using my seal. You could still use your liquid glue here if you want. I'm going to kind of put that one off a little bit. And then we're going to put that one like that. Okay. So now I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Let's see, I think I'm going to put that one kind of low because I want that one to fit. i put two on the others. Whoops, I just peeled that off. Okay. Those back ends are just popping off today without causing me any trouble for once. Okay, all right, let's layer that one. Let's bring this one in. Okay, so I think, so what I did the first time, you wanna be sure you don't do this where it's like too tight so that your card you know, doesn't fold properly or open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this in here, and I'm gonna add my adhesive right to the top of that, and then make sure it's straight, press that down, let's flip it over, and then let's do the same here. And that'll kind of keep it from causing problems for you. And look at that! Isn't that fun? All right, now I did add um, a few glitter enamel shapes. Now these are retired, um, but I love them, so I have them all over the place. So you can definitely use another embellishment, or if you still have these. I don't know what I did with my little piercer. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and kind of add them up here. Let me use the purple. I just love these. 
And then we'll put another one over there. And then I'm also going to add a couple to the inside. All right. So there you go. There is our double Z fold card um, featuring the new ice cream sweet. And then for my envelope, I just chose one of our medium whisper white envelopes and I just re-stamped um, the, the cone just to coordinate. I went with the rich red or blackberry bliss rather since I used that as my base, but you could choose whatever color you want. Um, so I thank you so much for watching today. As always, you can find a full supply list in the description of this video and you can pick up all of these products in my online store. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.